His horse works harder. <laughs> and you don't have to defend your papa to me. I know him longer than you do. You should only live and be well. Shrinza, bring me some more potatoes. Papa, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You were reading again? Why did the girl have to read? Will it give her a better husband? Here. Mama Yenta's coming. She's down the road. Maybe she's finally found a match for you, Zaitel. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Go finish in the house. I want to talk to Yenta alone. The little kid I caught second play. You have feet? Go. Can I go too? Go to But Mama, the men she finds. The last one was so old. And he was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl's out of dowry can't be so particular. You want hair, Mary, Mom? <laughs> but, Mama, I'm not yet something when you shut up. Do you boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? Inside. Golden! Golden, darling. I have to see you because I have such news for you. And not just every day of the week news. Once in a lifetime news. And where are your daughters? Outside? No good. Such diamond coin. Such jewels. You'll see, Golda. I'll find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband. God forbid. <laughs> and who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor widow. Alone, no one to talk to. Nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. All I do at night is think of him. And even thinking of him gives me no pleasure because you know as well as I. Who's not much of a person? Never made a living. Everything he touched turned to mud. But better than nothing. Sorry. Good evening. Is Cycle in the house? But she's busy. You can come back later. There's something I'd like to tell her. Later? Mottle, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing. I said later. Oh, right. What does that poor Taylor Mottle want with Cycle? They've been friends since they were babies together. They talk. They play. What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> Marvel, he's a nothing. Yanta, you said you had news for me. Ah, uh, children, children. They are your blessing in your old age. But my aunt couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was good as gold. Never raised his voice to me. But otherwise, he was not much of a person. So what good is it being able to raise his voice? But what's the use complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, but not yet. Not every woman in the world is a yet. Well, wait. Oh, wait. I must go prepare my poor Sabbath table. So, goodbye, Golda. And it was a pleasure talking our hearts to each other. Yenta, you said you had news for me. Oi, hey, I'm losing my head. One day it will fall off altogether. A horse will kick it into the mud. Oi, and goodbye, Yenta. <laughs> yes, the news. It's about Lazar Wolf, the butcher. A good man, a fine man. I don't have to tell you, he's well off. <laughs> but he's lonely, the poor man. You understand? Of course you do. So, to make it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye. A Saito! My Saito? No, the Tsar's Saito. <laughs> of course you're Saito. Such a match for my Saito. But Tepo wants a learned man. He doesn't like laser. Listen to me, Golda. Send Tepo to me. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Lazy discuss it himself. He'll bring him over. He's a good man. A wealthy man. You don't have to thank me, Golda, because, well, besides from my fee, which Laser will pay anyways, it gives me such satisfaction to make people happy. And what better satisfaction? 